Hey guys, it's Shelby from Big Cat Creative here. And in this video, we are going to go over customizing your mobile menu in Squarespace 7.1. Doing this is actually super simple. You just need to know where to look for everything. So first we're going to enter into editing mode and then in the very top right of our screen, click into mobile view. You can then hover over the very top of your mobile screen and click edit site header. You should then see two options, edit design and view menu. First, we'll go into edit design. And here is where you can customize the layout of your mobile menu. So if you click on the drop down menu here, you'll be able to choose from a few different layouts. You can see it change up here in the top. And this is just going to be the order of your logo or site title, your menu icon, and any other additional features that you have enabled for your menu. You'll then have the option to apply a few different effects to your menu, like a drop shadow, a border, or making it fixed position, which will keep your menu at the top of the screen as you scroll up and down. However, it's really important to know that these settings are not independent from desktop view. That means that if you make any changes to the drop shadow, the border, or if you make your entire menu a fixed position, that's also going to apply to the desktop view. The same goes for editing any colors underneath the color tab. You can choose to have your menu be adaptive, to show a gradient, or to create just a solid colored menu. And any changes that you make here will also be applied to your desktop view. Once you're happy with your layout, you can go ahead and click out of this menu and we'll then click into where it says view menu. And this is gonna show us what our actual mobile menu is going to look like. You can then click into edit design again to make some customizations. Under alignment, you can change the alignment of the actual items in your menu, either center, right, or left. You can also edit the link spacing here with this slide bar. If you wanna change the color of your menu, click into the color tab and choose from one of the pre-existing themes set by your color palette. To edit these themes, you can just head into your site styles, which as a reminder is this paintbrush icon in the very top right of your screen, and then click into colors. From here, you can find the color theme that you wanna use or that you already have selected and click the little pencil edit icon to the right. Scroll down until you find the section titled menu overlay, and here you can go ahead and play around with the colors of your palette or setting some custom colors. When you're happy with how your colors look, click out of your site styles panel and of course, be sure to save your work. If you wanna customize your mobile menu further by adjusting the font of your menu links, it's important to know that this menu font uses whatever you have already set as your paragraph font in your site styles. If you did wanna play around with adjusting this, however, all you need to do is head back into your site styles and click into the fonts panel. From here, you can click paragraphs and adjust your paragraph fonts accordingly. So any changes that you make here is going to apply site-wide wherever you have used paragraph font on your website. If you wanted to take things a step further by uniquely customizing just the font on this mobile menu, you can do so by adding some custom CSS to your website. We do offer some more detailed instructions on how to do this, including a piece of code that you can directly copy and paste into your website in the full blog post that goes along with this video. So be sure to check that out after watching. It will be linked in the description below. The next thing I wanna talk about is adding some additional icons and elements to your mobile menu, which we'll need to do back in desktop view. So we'll go ahead and click back onto this desktop view icon in the top right hand corner. Make sure that you're up in your site header editing mode and then click on this add elements button to the very left. Here you can add some additional elements like a button, social links, a shopping cart, an account login option, and even language switch if you have a multilingual website. If you wanna add any of these elements to your menu, just go ahead and toggle them on and you'll see them appear in your menu. Again, it's important to keep in mind that toggling on any of these elements will make them display in both the desktop view menu as well as your mobile view. So it's not only independent to mobile or desktop, it'll appear on both. But once you're happy with what you have added here, you can go ahead and click out of this pop-up window and go back into mobile view. And now you can see that we have our cart icon displayed. And if we click view menu, our social icons are displayed right here. You can customize any of these elements just like you would a regular block on your website by clicking on the block and then clicking on the pencil edit icon. Here you can adjust your links if it's a social links block. And if you click into design, you can go ahead and adjust the size and the shape of your links. 
As another example, if we go up here and click on the cart block and then click on the little pencil icon, you'll find some additional cart styling and settings options here. If you've chosen to add a button to your menu, there are a couple of ways to adjust the style settings of this that will all be taken place in the site styles panel. So again, click on the little paintbrush icon in the top right hand corner and to adjust the font of our button, we'll click into fonts, assign styles down here at the bottom, and then navigate to where it says header button at the very bottom of this top header section. If you click into here, you can go ahead and play around with the style and the settings of your button font. This is just for the button font though. So if you want to adjust any other overall button styles like the padding or the size, you'll need to go back into your site styles panel, click on buttons, and then make sure that you're clicked into the primary button. This is the button that the header button, like what you see in your mobile menu, is going to take the properties of. So you can go ahead and make some adjustments to your button here, but just remember that making any changes here is going to apply to any primary button that you have around your entire website. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about adjusting the mobile menu icon. So if you are viewing your full mobile menu, be sure to click close menu and you'll now be able to see the little menu icon. If you hover over it, it should say menu. And if you click into this block and then click the pencil icon here, you'll find some additional design settings. You can choose from a few different shapes for the icon, as well as some different thickness levels for the lines. You can also click these three dots to adjust the thickness level yourself. And finally, we will make some adjustments to our site title and logo area by hovering over either your site title or your custom logo, clicking into that block, and again, clicking the little pencil edit icon. And this is where you can adjust your site title and your custom logo. But remember that these two things are not independent to just mobile. So if you make any changes to these, it will change on both mobile and desktop. The one thing that is independent to mobile though is your mobile logo image. So at the very bottom of this pop-up window is an area for you to upload a unique image or logo just for mobile view. This comes in really handy if you have a super large image that's on desktop and you want something a little bit more pared down or icon-like for mobile. So you can go ahead and do that there. And just remember that it's always still important to include a site title even if you are uploading a unique logo because it helps boost your SEO. Okay, and that is that. It's super simple. As always, be sure to save your changes when you are finished editing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every single week and I hope to see you in the next one.